Many MacBook users don't realize that charging their device the wrong way can shorten its lifespan. In this video, I'll show you the best way to charge your MacBook to keep your battery in good shape and make it last longer. You'll learn useful tips for keeping your battery healthy and practical advice to extend its life. On the other hand, I'll also point out common charging mistakes to avoid. By the way, even after a year of use, my MacBook still has 100% battery health. But first, let's talk about why battery health is so important. In simple words, battery health refers to the overall condition and efficiency of your MacBook's battery, measuring its ability to hold a charge and provide power to your device. Over time, batteries degrade, holding less charge and they also may need more frequent recharging. You can check out your MacBook's battery health by going to the settings here and then make sure that you scroll down until you see this battery option here. Then under the battery health, click on this small eye icon and here you should see your maximum capacity which for me is 100% after only about a year of use. Now there is also another way how you can actually check out your battery health as well as battery cycles. So here on the top left you will see your Apple's logo. Once you click on the Apple's logo you can hold down the option key and here you will see the system information option and then under the hardware you will go to the power option and here you can see your cycle count as well as your maximum capacity of your battery. MacBooks use lithium-ion batteries which charge faster, last longer and have a higher power density than traditional batteries. These batteries reach 80% capacity quickly using fast charging, then switch to slower trickle charging to extend battery life. The time to reach 80% depends on your settings and the device, of course. Lithium-ion batteries work in charge cycles, completing one cycle when you used 100% of the battery's capacity, even if not all at once. For example, using 60% of the battery one day and 40% the next day equals to one charge cycle. While battery capacity diminishes slightly with each charge cycle, Apple lithium-ion batteries are designed to retain 80% of their original capacity for many charge cycles, varying by product of course. Now, with macOS Big Sur or later, your MacBook includes optimized battery charging to enhance battery lifespan. This feature delays charging past 80% in certain situations learning your charging habits to ensure your Mac is fully charged when unplugged. This reduces the time your Mac spends fully charged, thereby prolonging battery health. My takeaway of using optimized battery charging is that it takes time to learn your usage patterns. For me, it took about three weeks to limit its charge to 80%, but if you don't have the same schedule every day, then the battery will charge itself to 100%. And this is where you can use battery limiter apps like Aldente, Coconut Battery or Batfy. Essentially, these apps are almost the same. They will limit your MacBook's battery charge to 80% no matter what schedule you have. If you are interested, I will leave a link for them in the video description below. And now let's talk about what Apple recommends to maximize battery life and lifespan. Basically, the key takeaway from their website is that you always update to the latest version of macOS and optimize your settings, like use the energy saver preferences to manage power levels, dim your screen to the lowest comfortable brightness and turn off Wi-Fi when not in use to save power. Disconnect peripherals and close unused applications. I think that the most important part is written down below under plug in and power on your MacBook to charge other devices title, where it's written, make sure your MacBook is plugged in and powered on when you're using it to charge other devices via USB. Otherwise, those devices may drain the battery in your MacBook faster than normal. If another device is connected to your MacBook when it's turned off or in sleep or standby mode, the device battery may drain. By the way, if you want to check out how to maximize battery health on your other Apple devices, I will leave a link for this Apple article in the video description below. Now, the main thing I did to achieve 100% battery health after one year of use is that I keep my MacBook plugged in most of the time. When I work at my desk, my MacBook is plugged in and it usually charges itself to 80%, which I believe really helps with the battery health. Now, I would suggest you that if you use MacBook at your desk or somewhere where you have charger available, then you should definitely plug it in to prolong its battery life. 
Now, one thing which I also do to extend MacBook's battery life is that I have only a few apps running in the background. You can check which apps you have running in the background by going to the settings, then click on general and here select logging items. Here, I would suggest that you remove all the unused applications from the list and disable them down below under the allow in background title. With that said, this is pretty much it for the video. Thank you for watching and if you haven't already, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and click on the like button as well. If you're interested in my background image, you can check out my Breeze wallpaper pack by clicking the first link in the video description. With that said, have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you in the next one.